Hey everyone, I am going to tie a um, Ali Shrimp welder. A uh, picture of a welder, an Ali Shrimp came through um, on my Instagram feed earlier. I've been tying a few welders recently, which are really, really nice pattern to tie. Um, and a really nice pattern to fish with, and a good pattern to fish with. So I thought I'd do an Ali Shrimp welder. It's a silver Ali Shrimp, really. So back on um, with a size 6 RX double. Uh, I've got Ato thread and I am just tying in the back the rear tag which is a size 25 silver wire. So I'm just going to do three or four turns of this. I bury it under no real science to it I don't think. And I'm just doing it the way I feel. So I just do one turn there and just draw it back because then I'm going to tie in the back tag. Uh, which is a medium holographic silver. So I'm just going to tie that in. Go kind of past halfway. You want the head, this section of the fly, to be shorter than the tail section. Um, for me, and now, as I always do, I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny little bit of super glue just on the back here just to keep that medium holographic silver in place um, for when this catches a fish it doesn't all fall apart not that hopefully my flies fall apart but you never know just adding that bit of super glue I mean I used to use blobs of super glue when I was trying to tie flies when I was younger uh, which never worked um, but just a little bit here and there just can help stabilize all the materials and just keep everything in place. Um, some great tips for, from some guys out there about where to use super glue. So I'm just going to tie in the 25 wire rib on the back here. Just cushion that down. So I've made a set of 10 of these 5 size 6s and 5 size 8s. Um, to take to the fly fair with me uh, in a couple of weekends time which I'm looking forward to. Right so this is where this is slightly different um, so I'm going to put a rear up and bottom wing in on this one just to use all the alley shrimp materials really so I'm just going to take a really small bit of squirrel that I'd not bothered that it's flaring or whatever and I'm just going to tie that in on the top. It's there. So I keep it short the length of the hook and then I'm going to tie another one. This is just something I just started doing today. Um, just thought it looked quite nice. So I start another one. So I'm going to put the other one underneath. So it's just really using all the alleys materials but in a welder pattern so tie those in so they're nice and secure so you don't want that too thick if you have that really thick then the front half of this fly will be a nightmare for you to put everything in because there's quite a lot of stuff to go on this fly um, so next I'm gonna put in an orange hackle this is a cock hackle bit longer so I want the, the feathers of this to go right the way to the back of the hook. Just tie them in and fold them back as normal and then use your scissors to just put the fibres down a little bit just to put them so when you tie them in they go back in a nice way and don't flare up and give you a nice big budgie on the top. So I'm just going to put down like that. So I'll probably do... I don't know how many turns we're going to do here. So that's one full turn. I'll probably do one more. And then as I always do, strip the feathers off that I don't want. To give me a nice tie-in underneath and then 
slide that in towards the head to make it nice and secure again. So that's a nice length there, not too heavy, so you can still see the body. Right, next I'm going to tie in the wing, which is just orange bucktail. Again, really light, nothing too much. Again, because you want to keep your body nice and slim. Which is uh, saying something for me, but there we go. Um, and you want to leave a nice bit of room at the front here for the rest of the fly too. So you got your wing in there, now I'm just going to add two strands of flashaboo. This is just pearl flashaboo, nothing too traumatic. So one in there, and then just fold them back for security. And then tie it up to the top there. So I'm not bothered that I haven't tied in the front of this bit just yet. I'm trying to minimise the amount of thread that I'm putting on this front bit for the moment. So now I'm going to take a bit of orange um, pheasant here and I'm just going to pop that over there so I kind of want this to flare a bit there we go so just popping that in there just to add that nice bit there it's great stuff really nice dye orange this from Andre it's great stuff at AM fly tying so cut that off Right, now I'm going to re-tie in the silver wire for the front section of this flight. You know, I've kind of done the welders on the videos, but because I only do salmon flies, obviously there's only so much I can do. Right, next is the front body, which is just going to be black. Uni. So I've actually split one of these in two to make it thin, because obviously you've got quite a thick body here already. So if you add a full thickness on here, it'll be quite, it'll just be quite chunky. So I'm just minimizing it as best I can by just splitting this uni floss into two sections. So it's nice and thin, but you get that nice glossy black body, black finish on there. So just tie that in. Quite a heavy body at the front, but it's not too bad. I don't mind that too much having a bit of weight at the front. There's probably something aerodynamic about it that I don't know about really. So I just tie the silver wire in. I'm just going to go forward a bit towards the head just to lay out the foundations for the remaining bits. So there you go. Right, next bit. Add another orange hackle for the front, which is a little bit shorter than the one at the back. Quite a lot of material on here, but hopefully it won't look too bad when it's finished. Bend the fibres back with these scissors, either the outside or like I do on the inside without cutting, hopefully. I haven't cut one yet, touch wood. Right, so I'm going to do, don't have a massive amount of room here because we've still got a wing to put on. So just one. So at this point I'll just see how much space I've got and I'm happy that I've got enough space to do another turn, but actually, yeah, I'm going to do another turn. Still got two more parts to go. And then strip off the unwanted fibres so we can tie them up nicely possibly could have left a little bit more space at the head but I've been doing this all well not all day but been making quite a few of these today and I've managed to finish it off without going into the eye of the hook Ease them back a little bit just to give you that nice taper. Give you what it looks like in the water a little bit more. Right, so second to last, I'm just going to add a little bit of fox mask onto this just as the wing. So this is a short wing, like the welders are, not too long. 
and I like this fox mask because it's nice and easy to tie in and it's not too thick so you can get a nice tight head on it so just I just go back just to kind of the length of the hook and just tighten it in there just like so and then I remove the excess there as best I can just make the head there and then lastly I'm just going to tie in a couple of JCI's Hold them back, tighten up. And the head there. And now, finish them off. A few whips in here. get a shot of the stems for the JC oh. there we go silver alleys welder <laughs>